Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Black Friday Diamond Art Club unboxing for you all. I did open my box just to make sure my pieces were in there and I took a sticker off that had my address. Um, but other than that, I have not looked at these kits. I am super, super excited. I did pick up four diamond paintings on Black Friday, which I know is crazy, but I'm sure some of you out there picked up more than I did, so I don't feel too bad about it. Also, uh, if you did not shop the sale, the um, discount was 30% off, and I got some pretty decent sized kits, if you guys can see. They're all right around the same size, um, none of them are super, super big, thankfully, <laughs> but, and they're all rounds, if you can believe that. I didn't notice that until after I had checked out that all of these kits were rounds, and I was like, yes. So, the first kit, well, not the first kit, one of the kits is Daydreaming from Sarah Mustafa. It's a 68 by 70 centimeter by 55.8 centimeter round drill kit. This is the largest, I believe. I promise there is a nail change coming soon. <laughs> I've been doing some painting for some Christmas things, which I will be sharing with you all. And I just didn't want to put new nails on and ruin them with paint. So, but I promise new nails coming soon. The next one is Crystal Fox from Jeremiah Kettner. Another round. It's a 42.6 centimeter by 55.8 centimeter. I hate that it's not an even number anymore. That drives me absolutely nuts. But that's okay. I also picked up Irish Christmas Fay from Hannah Lynn. Another round. It's a 42.6 by 60.8 centimeter. I guess I could tell you the inches of the kits, but for diamond painting, my brain just works in centimeters. I don't like when you go by inches, but it's okay. And then I picked up, look at, look at my Crocs. <laughs> I picked up Coastal Window by, I don't know if it's Nan or Nan, another round, 55.8 by 42.6. Love this one. So let me go ahead and get these unwrapped. Uh, I'll show you the toolkits for everything, but it's much easier for me to have everything laid out and then we will go through all of them. So I will be right back. Okay, we're back. I have all four kits laid out. I have all the ABs pulled out so I can show them to you. So we are ready to go. Now, normally I do just one kit or two if they like coincide with each other, but I'm doing all four in one video. I feel like you guys would wanna see everything I got at once. So here we go. The first kit is Coastal Window. Again, this is by the artist. I'm not sure if it's Nan or Non, so I apologize for that. I believe this is a new artist to Diamond Art Club and I'm all for <laughs> this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Here is a larger image. Again, it is a 22 inch by 17 inch, 55.8 centimeters by 42.6 centimeters. We have 52 colors and four of those are ABs. If you're new to Diamond Art Club, anything under the DMC color 150 is an AB diamond, which is a special drill. I'll show you guys that in just a second. But I just think this is so beautiful. So we have our large sticker sheet. We have the little sticker. I put this on my box, but some people use it in a logbook or use it for other crafty things. We also got one of these instruction booklets. You get one of these in every kit. I'm not gonna show it for all four, but I thought I would show it for the first. There are directions in here as well as a coupon code. I'm feeling a little stuffy today, so I apologize if you can hear me breathing. <laughs> I always try to be very conscious of that. Like, I don't like, I don't know. It kind of like freaks me out, but if you hear me breathing, I apologize. So in our toolkit, we have a tray, a little pot of heart-shaped wax. There are two pieces of wax in there. We have a blue squishy and our washi tape. It looks like red, like paint swatches maybe. And then we have a blue pen, as well as some baggies. 
I dropped a multi placer. Oh my gosh, stop it. <laughs> this minder is so cute. So we have a seven placer and I dropped a thin four placer as well. We have a bag of baggies. And we have this little elephant <laughs> popsicle, or is it, is it an elephant? I don't know, a koala? I'm not sure. So I actually filmed an unboxing that you guys will see later in December, and I got the pig version of this. And I was like, I've never seen this one. And now it's gonna look so dumb because I have seen it. <laughs> Here are the drills. Here is the color palette, lots of neutrals, obviously, but we have some blues some greens, pop of orange, that'll be really pretty. And for our ABs, we have 104, 125, I love this one. It's like the white with a minty tinge to it, so pretty. 131 and 141. <clears throat> So if you're new to Diamond Art Club, like I said, or new to diamond painting, an AB is a special drill. I'm going to show you on this mint color because I think it's just so pretty. And it has that extra coating on the top that just makes it super sparkly. They look so cool down on the canvas. I love adding in my own ABs, um, but Diamond Art Club is pretty generous in their newer kits with the number of colors in the AB that they give you. Isn't that just so pretty though? I love it. Okay, so for these ABs, <clears throat> let's start with 104, which is this peachy kind of color. I found that in only one, <laughs> one spot. Now, obviously I could have overlooked it, but I found it down here in this single shell. <clears throat> Sorry again, right down here. I didn't see it anywhere else. Doesn't mean it's not anywhere else. That's just where I saw it. Can we take a second to just appreciate like the small size of these kits? I was laying these out and I was like, oh, it's so nice not to have a massive kit. They're all such a great size. So that's the first AB. For the 125, which again is this beautiful mint color, I found that all throughout the sky. So it's kind of just, there are some lines of it. There's also just some little pieces of confetti where you see one or two. But I think that's going to look really, really pretty. The third AB is 131, which is the orange. And I found that in, I'm sure you can guess, the center of the flowers. Wherever you see some of that orange, there's a few of those sprinkled in. And then 141, the white, is also all throughout the flowers. So that's the first kit. Again, it's Coastal Window. I am fairly certain this one was not limited edition, but it did sell out. So if you are looking for it, I would recommend heading to Diamond Art Club, signing up for notifications. Um, hopefully it will be back soon. I'm going to pause for one second, clear my throat and get a drink and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and hopefully less annoying. <laughs> so the next kit here is Irish Christmas Fay. How stinking cute is she? I love her so much. Here is the small sticker. And then we have the large sticker sheet. She's just so cute. Now, I do believe that this is the only limited edition kit that I purchased. I'm pretty sure. I do, however, think that she's still available. I should have checked the website while I was on my little break, but um, she's so cute. I know a lot of the Hannah Lynn's were limited edition and some of them have sold out, but I do think this one is still available. I'm filming this on Friday and posting it on Friday. So uh, pop over to Diamond Art Club and take a look at this one if you're interested. I think she's just so cute. You guys know I've been on a little bit of a Hannah Lynn uh, kick lately. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I kind of distanced myself from her artwork. I don't know why. It just wasn't my favorite. But lately, everything that they've been putting out, I'm like, oh, I need that. <laughs> there was another Hannah Lynn. I think it was like Jessalyn or something. She was so cute, but I, I passed. She was limited edition, so I won't be able to get her, but that's okay. I have so many kits. I also have a 
unboxing coming from a different shop and I purchased a handle in. So I think I'm okay. <laughs> Uh, so our toolkit, we have, it looks like the same type of washi, but in blue, the white or the clear tray with the gold glitter. We have a heart-shaped caddy with wax, a green squishy, and a little macaron cover minder. I don't have that color, so that's good. We have our green pen, our baggies, and a seven and a four placer. So all the toolkits obviously are similar. You just get a few things that maybe may vary between kits, which makes it fun to, to look at them. Look at this tiny pack of drills. <laughs> look at how small that is. So lots of Christmas colors, reds, greens. We have some blues for the background. I see some purples, black, of course, with a handle in. Really pretty colors. And then we have three ABs for this kit. So we have 114, look how pretty that color is. 135 and 137. So pretty. Okay, so for the 114, Sorry guys, I'm waiting for our couch delivery people to get here. So every time a big truck goes by, I'm like, is it them? Is it them? It's not even close to the window that they gave us, but <laughs> I'm excited, okay? So 114 is this beautiful red. I love this. I found this throughout her hair, which I think her hair is going to be absolutely gorgeous. And then I also found it in the red stripes in her little stockings and her gloves super cute. I think that's going to look really adorable. This 135 is not my favorite AB. <laughs> it's this kind of lime green, but I found this in her wings, which I do think that will be really pretty. And there's not too much. It was kind of just sprinkled in there. So it's exciting. And then 137 is this really pretty blue. And I found this all throughout the background. So mixed in with all of these blues is some of this blue AB. Now there is one change that I think I will probably make to this kit. Now I don't know when I'm going to work on this one, but we'll see. I don't think it'll happen this year. I'm pretty, pretty booked up for my December kits, but the one change that I will most likely definitely probably be making is changing the 3865 to an AB. I think they kind of missed the mark on that. Even if they just gave us some ABs for the falling snow, kind of surprised. I feel like they normally do that, but that's okay. I will probably do that myself. I will replace, I'm, I'm guessing, obviously I don't know for sure, but I think I will replace all of the falling snow with the AB. She also has some snow in her really cute little crown up here. And then maybe I would sprinkle it into her little outfit. But I think the like the little pom-pom with a little bit of AB, I think that would be really pretty. So yeah, that would be probably the only addition I'll make. Uh, I don't know that I'll swap it out completely, but I'll definitely mix in some ABs in that one. So this is Irish Christmas Bay. Make sure you head over to their website um, if you're interested in this one, because I am pretty sure it is limited edition and I think it's still available. Please don't quote me. <laughs> Okay, third kit. How stinking cute is this one? If you, you may or may not know that I really love Jeremiah Kettner's artwork. I think it's just so cute. I love the colors that he uses. Um, I just think it's adorable. So speaking of Jeremiah Kettner, there is actually an event based on his artwork that will be happening in January. If you guys don't follow Brie from Painting with Pities, I'll leave her link down below for you guys. Uh, it's her first event and it's the first Jeremiah Kettner focused event. So make sure you head over there. I think she has already put out an information video. I'm pretty sure. So make sure you head over there. I will be participating. I think I'll be doing uh, Floating Along, which is the two cute little otters. I think I'll be doing that one for that event. 
And that event will actually be my 100th kit. So my 100th finish. So that's kind of a cool way to like bookmark my, that special number. I don't know, special to me at least. But uh, let's get back to this kit. I ramble. So this is Crystal Fox. So stinking cute. Here is the small sticker. And this one has 40 colors. Look at how cute. 40 colors with one, two, three, four ABs. So cute. I love it. I was so excited to see a Jeremiah Kettner uh, come out this Black Friday. Oh my goodness. What the heck is this tray? <laughs> Did they change their trays again? Interesting. So this is a white tray with a boat. Not sparkly. I wonder, did they get rid of the, it's the same design because it has the stopper, but I wonder if they've gotten rid, I don't know. That's the first time I've seen that. We have our wax caddy. Ooh, this is pretty washi tape. It's like a floral with little hummingbirds. Super cute. We have an orange squishy. If you know anything about those trays, please let me know, I'm curious. It's been a while since I have done new releases unboxings from Diamond Art Club. Oh my gosh, that's such a cute cover minder. We have an orange pen, some baggies, a seven placer and a four placer. And look at this little unicorn. The magnet fell off, but that's okay. How cute, I don't have that one either. See, this is why I like doing the toolkit unboxings. I get so excited about the washi tape and the cover minder. We have another <laughs> really cute small pack of drills. Look at how tiny. And look at that color palette. Blues and purples, some really pretty greens. Love that. And for this one, we have four ABs again. We have one 13 which is a really pretty pink. We have 120, 122, I love this green, so pretty, and 128, which is a pale pink. So 113, this one here, I found in the little ruffle collar business that's happening here, <laughs> which I think it's so cute. I don't know. I, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be, but super cute. So I found this color sprinkled all throughout there. How many times have I said super cute in this unboxing? I don't know. 120 is the blue. I found this all throughout the background, not necessarily in the crystals. I don't think. Let me take another look. Uh, two, 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 two. Oh yeah, I guess it was in the crystals. For some reason, I thought it was like the outlining part of the crystals, but I do see it sprinkled throughout the crystals themselves. 122. This one is the one that I did see sprinkled along the outside. So you kind of see those greens up there. There's some of these. And then 128, the pale pink, I found in the face. You can kind of see that light pink hue there. I also found some in the body as well as in the crystals. Now for this kit, it's called Crystal Fox. <laughs> so I feel like she needs some crystals. <laughs> I definitely would like to bling out the gem on the forehead. I'm not quite sure how I want to mess with this kit. I don't know what I want to exactly do. Uh, I don't have it planned anytime soon, but I haven't really cracked down on my beginning of the year kits just yet. But how cute is this one? I think some crystals in some of these really pretty colors in the background would look super cool. Like I said, I do want to do something with the gem on the forehead, but I love this one. I am so happy to see some more Jeremiah Katner's coming out. He you, can, you should follow him on Instagram if you are interested in his artwork. I'll link his Instagram handle down below, or I'll list it, not link it. Um, but he produced some so, like, such cute artwork, and there are some that have 
he's posted and I'm like, oh, I hope that comes with Diamond Art Club. So um, if you like that type of artwork, definitely check out his Instagram. Okay, final kit, number four. This is Daydreaming from Sarah Mustafa. I adore her artwork. Here is the little sticker. Here is the larger image. We have 44 colors with four ABs again. Now, Diamond Art Club released another piece from Sarah Mustafa. Excuse me, it was another mermaid, but I can't remember the name of that one. It did make it onto my list, but I decided to just add it to my wish list for now. It wasn't limited edition. The rendering and the preview looked a little funky, so I kind of wanted to see someone else work on it or at least see someone else unbox it uh, just so I could kind of get a feel for it, but it's on my wish list. It may eventually come home to me, but for now, I just went for this one because I think it's absolutely stunning. It's so pretty. Our toolkit for this one, let's see. I got a black squishy that fell <laughs> to the ground, which means I also got a black pen. Here is the black pen. Oh, this is cute. I think I might have one of these little paw print ones. It's a little paw print cover minder. We have some mermaid tail washi. I think I've gotten this one before as well. We're back to the clear sparkly tray. We have our wax caddy with wax a thin seven and a thin four placer. And we also have some baggies. All right, so for our color palette, lots of pretty kind of pastel colors, but then you also have these, these darker ones here. Super pretty color palette. I think she's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. For our ABs, we have 127, 129, 139, and 141. I almost said 144. <laughs> 141. I'm so excited about this gray AB. Oh my gosh. Okay, so 127. I found this one on the top of her head, like kind of the lightest parts of her hair, like through here and towards the top there. 129, it's really pretty yellow. I found this on the yellow parts of her tail, which I'm kind of thinking she has some like sun shining through her tail a little bit. I also found some of that at the top of her head and around her face kind of here. Her tail has this gorgeous gray AB. Oh my gosh, I love the gray ABs. My favorite color is gray. I know I've mentioned this on my channel before and I know they also mentioned that my nieces make, <laughs> they like, they harass me so much about gray not being a color. And I'm like, if it's not a color, why are there so many different shades of gray? <laughs> So yes, gray is my favorite color and I love the gray ABs. Now I found this one all throughout her tail here. How beautiful is this tail? I don't know. There's something about Sarah Mustafa's artwork that I just really like. I did complete one of her pieces at the beginning of this year, I think back in January actually, and I loved it so much. So I was really excited to see some new pieces from her, but this gray AB and this beautiful tail is gonna look so, so stunning. And then we have good old white AB 141. I found this also throughout her tail, also in her hair and her little headpiece here. Can't wait to work on this one. I'm thinking this might be my Mermaids and Magic kit this year. I don't know. I had some other kits in mind, but how beautiful is this one? I'm sure this one will be very popular for that event though, so we'll see. So those are my Black Friday kits. Yes, I have a birthday cake on my croc. <laughs> my sister and my nieces got me these crocs for my birthday. I am a believer, I'll tell you that much, and they put a little birthday 
charm as well as a little Dobby charm. <laughs> All right, so here are my kits from Black Friday. I love them. They are so beautiful. I feel like I did pretty well. I will say that I found Time in Our Club's releases for Black Friday interesting. There wasn't a lot that really tickled my fancy, if you will. I did put the Chuck Pinson on my wish list, and I did put this other companion piece on my wish list. I also added the Superman image from Mandy Manzano to my wish list just because I already have Batman and Wonder Woman on there. So I figured if I ever purchase them, I'll probably purchase them as a set. But I found it interesting. There were 100 releases and not very many that were must-haves for me, but also I'm happy about that. So one of my favorite things about Diamond Art Club is that they do have such diverse artwork. So there really is hopefully something for everyone. And I think there, there is definitely something to say about that. So <sighs> those are my Black Friday kits. I picked up four from Diamond Art Club. Um, at some point next week, I will have my Cyber Monday unboxing. I picked up two kits from that release. So make sure you check back for that video. I also have lots of other fun videos. We're a few days into my, actually no, today's the second. Is today the second? We're only a couple of days into my December videos, but have a lot of fun things coming. So if you wouldn't mind, I don't normally do this, but please uh, subscribe if you're interested, hit the like button, turn the bell on, whatever. I'm a bad YouTuber, but <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here, for checking out my Black Friday purchases, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!